Hello friends, my name is Renai and welcome back to the Life is Strange 2 episode 4. We are about to try and break Daniel out of a cult. Um, yeah, let's, I guess, try. <laughs> Karen? I'm in place. I can see the whole camp. Let me know if you need anything. Be careful, Sean. Got it. Thanks. We gotta be careful now. If anything happens, let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, of course. Let's get this over with. Okay. Elizabeth's house is right behind the church, so in and out. Okay. And you sure Elizabeth will have those files on your sister? Watch out, Sean. There are people right outside. Oh, shit. How many? Just three. A man with his kid on one side, and a woman alone on the other. Got it. Thanks. People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. Oh! Come on. Well, hello, young Hackerman. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, hi. We're just... You know you're not supposed to wander around the church once the service is over, right? Right, I, I, I'm sorry, but we, we were just... Uh, my dad just forgot his uh, jacket in our reverend's home, so he asked me to go get it. <laughs> that is so Robert, and he's too proud to get it back himself. <laughs> you know the man. Okay, well, just... Hurry up. We'll be closing the gates soon. <laughs> no, no worries. I'll just grab it and go. <clears throat> Ooh, sounds like she has a soft spot for your dad. <laughs> he does have some fans here. She's definitely one. Good thing you dropped his name. Then we should have some time to snoop around. <clears throat> Can't believe Daniel really lives in this depressing house. Oh, we did it. Now we have a little bit more time. Yes, we do. Nice work. So where are the files? Right there, in her office. Oh, of course it's locked. Her open door speech is just another lie. We gotta find a way in. Fuck. Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's too cautious not to have a spare set around. Okay. Whoa. Are you okay, Jake? Yeah. Yeah, no. It, it's just so full of memories and stuff. The moat and the bean. New morning, family practice, blah, blah, blah. Patient name Elizabeth Fitcher. Prescription antibiotics for yeast infection. <laughs> 250 milligrams twice daily. Advil for stress anxiety. <clears throat> Refills allowed. And doctor. <clears throat> and I thought Clarence Steven were old fashioned. Coaxing lesson one. Get Daniel his favorite cereal. Whoa. <clears throat> this place is worse than army camp. Make bed every day, clean dishes after every meal, vacuum a hall and room weekly, take out trash Monday, wash hair every two days, help with Sunday laundry, count your blessings daily. Boy. Evenings in here must be so much fun. Oh, I bet. There's not even a TV. Confide and convince? Fifteen steps to a good speech. <laughs> yeah. 
Nice read for a saleswoman. Mm -hmm. Damn, <clears throat> this is so artless. All right, let's go look around a little more. Looks like her bedroom. Fire extinguisher. Mm. Might be enough to open that door. No. This is a lot of pills. Especially for someone who doesn't believe in science. Mm. Daniel's haircut makes much more sense now. Gross. Keep looking. Does she even believe in any of this? <sighs> Nothing here. You didn't even pick up anything. I'm sorry. Did she teach Daniel how to play this? Probably gonna be in her closet. Is this Daniel's room? Attached yeah. to her room? Man. It's depressing. Well, Lisbeth doesn't believe in material possessions. So, doesn't mean you need to decorate your house like a prison. <clears throat> is she forcing him to do this? Why is he accepting all that? Excuse me, Jacob. He looks happy. Fuck. I can't believe I missed it. Sean. Happy birthday, Sean. Daniel. Uh, yes. We're trying to get into her office. She's locked it up, so it has to be there. Fine. I'll let you know if I see anything unusual. Got it. Oh, shit. People are really all over his power. <clears throat> so much for secrecy. Dearest Daniel, I know you may never read this, but I had to reach out after witnessing your Holy Spirit last week. I'm a sinner. I have not been a church girl or woman for years, but I heard a story from my neighbor about Elizabeth Fisher and your miracles. I could feel the Lord whisper to me, and I drove all the way from Truck Tree to Haven Point. Trucky? To Haven Point. When I saw your angel face, I knew that my faith was coming back. You showed us that God is alive and working through Daniel. Okay. Yep. Book of Daniel. So much for a hot dog, man. Ugh. <laughs> They're so cute. No matter what happened, I guess Finn was a real friend to Daniel. This is quite the change from power bear and friends. Ah, locked, of course. Worth a shot. I'm not surprised he kept that ugly thing. He was so glad when he found it. This is still better than that ugly white shirt she's making him wear. Hit your head. Nice prison view, dude. I swear, even her bed looks stern. Ah. Okay, I found a key. Good. Let's try it. In a second. Shit. Looks like the Reverend Mother got to this letter before Jake. 
Jacob, thank you so much for telling me about Daniel. I'm on my way to Haven Point now. Please let Daniel know without getting him or you in trouble and that his family has not forgotten him. I don't know where Sean is and I hope we can find him too. I hope the best for you and if you need anything, do not hesitate. Ask for help. I'm there. Take care, Karen. Ugh. Gross. <clears throat> she sure likes to gaze at her own success. Hey. I found your letter for Jacob. Too bad Lisbeth found it first. She took it from the mail? Damn that woman. <clears throat> yeah. She checks everything that comes and goes into the community. What a great fucking family portrait. Gross. <coughs> Don't see anything of interest. Whoa. They kicked her out of church? <laughs> now they're thirsty. From Michael Bloom to Elizabeth Fisher. Dear Reverend Fisher, this is Michael Bloom, and I know it's been a long since we last talked, and I know that our talk was not a happy one. Despite our differences, we all know you are a devout spirit to be reckoned with. Nobody was surprised by your words and deeds touching so many people. I hope you believe it when I say we're all proud of you. But you're also starting to shame for asking you to leave, with, leave the church without understanding the power of your faith. As we need to remind ourselves, mistakes can be lessons. Even prideful deacons should be humbled before the Lord's wisdom. We hope you find it in your heart to forgive us and we'd be honored to host you for a visit anytime you wish. Ooh. Did I search the store yet? Yeah, okay. Whoa. They kicked her out of church? Alright. Now they're thirsty. Night stand. <clears throat> okay. What the? She's completely obsessed with his power. Daniel and tired after using the gift. Nothing gives him energy after. New diet? He acts on his own. Scripture won't impel him. More prayer, more study. Daniel, pouty today after lessons. Spare the rod, spoil the child. Not yet. Must show grace. Trust in the Lord. I did cry today watching the miracles. The child must be a vessel. What will he deliver unto us and when? Ugh. Gross. Alright. Well, let's go get the shit out of the freaking... <clears throat> Must be a way to break it. I don't want to break it. <sighs> yes, that's the one. Oh, perfect. Whoa, is this her personal archive or something? Yeah, she keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. Damn. She has pneumonia? And for what I get, Lisbeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. It's child abuse. Look, <clears throat> she has a file on you too. You can take a peek and see how she really treats her flock. Man, what's all this? Were you like sick? Conversion therapy? Do they wanted to cure you from being pretty much. I always showed more interest in boys than girls. They thought I was a freak. A sinner. Didn't you... tell your parents? <laughs> you kidding? They wanted her to do that. <clears throat> Mom and Dad thought I had a demon inside. So did I. I really did believe I was a sinner. So I thought I had to atone for my sins. Tone. For what sins? I don't get how they can preach this kind of crap. I mean, you met Finn and everyone. Are they sinners then? Of course not. I, I just didn't know different, Sean. I believed them. 
Damn, Jake. After a few years, I was in a really bad place. I, I tried to hurt myself. Elizabeth was very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave. Go see the world and figure things out. I, I don't really get her, Sean. But Elizabeth does believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm... I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. I, I thought I'd... I'd found my faith again. Instead, I... I just heard him. Then let's make things right. We just have to get Daniel out of here. I hope so. And I'll get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. I hope they'll help her. Keep our money. For your sister. She needs it. Oh, I, I can't do that, Sean. That, that, that's a lot of... We're okay. It will cover her medical bills. Wow. Thank you, Sean. Sean, are you there? <sighs> What's up? You got company. Uh -uh. That thug who works for Elizabeth. He's just holding some files. Doesn't seem to be onto you. This guy is dangerous, Sean. Hey, Trust me. I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more time. Just give me the word. Yeah. See what you can do. Sean, we gotta hide. Now. Hurry up. Come on, Sean, we need to hide. Oh, shit. No way to open this door. Man, if he finds us here, we're screwed. <laughs> All right, let's see. Huh? What? What the fuck is going on? Hold on. I don't I don't want Karen to get hurt. I'll be upset if Karen gets hurt. <sighs> wait, 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 wait. Hurry up. No. Reload the last checkpoint. Before this one. Damn it. No. How do I I can't. If she gets hurt, I'm gonna be so upset. Hurry up! Crazy. I really thought he was going to catch us. The guy's leaving. Looks like my diversion worked out. <sighs> yeah. Nice job. Thank you. All right. She's running a typed ship here. <sighs> Gotta give her credit for that. Right. Mm, I don't think there's anything worth a look in here. Is she actually scared of me? <clears throat> Fellow members, I am sending you this message as a warning that our church may have been disturbed may have been dis 
may have a disturbed stalker who claims to be Daniel's brother. He's a Mexican teenager with one eye between 16 and 18 who calls himself Sean. Do not engage him in any way if you happen to spot him. Do not call the police. Alert me or Nicholas at once. He must not be allowed near Daniel or other, any other members of the church. I pray I have not alarmed you, but we have a responsibility to protect ourselves from outside threats. I bless all of you for your faith, love, and strength, Reverend Fisher. Ugh. Better get Daniel out of here before she gets too much attention. God, gross. Fuck. She's done some serious research and still acts all naive. Diaz clippings. Police search for suspects in Daniel Diaz, Seattle shooting in night's protests. Oh boy, that hits way too close to home right now. Seriously, how can she ignore that? <clears throat> Dear Reverend Fisher, I hope you'll forgive what must feel like an intrusion into your church and beliefs, but I have great respect for what you've built over the past decade. I have no doubt the Lord has chosen you for a reason. I am a long personal family friend of the Hackermans, including their precious daughter, who has too long a time of illness. Blessedly, there is some medical help available that her family has, however, denied due to your advice. They see her pneumonia as a spiritual problem that only you can solve through prayer. While I believe that that is partially true, I believe that we have to work with the miracles provided by medicine. I hope you can see the severity of the situation as I feel some personal responsibility for Sarah Lee and her family, who are devout people. I'd like to talk next week if possible and hear your take on this matter. I hope you are not offended by um, my outreach. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Sincerely, Reverend Oliver Grand, Calvary Center for Christ, Las Vegas, Nevada. Ugh. Does she read anything else? She's got the whole thing memorized. <coughs> I can't believe this type of shit still happens today. Jacob Samuel Hackerman, secretive, refuses to compete in sports, etc., shows little interest in girls, questions the scriptures, Jacob feels shame. I feel the Lord working through me to save Jacob from himself and the temptation of sin. I have told his parents that he must attend daily prayer sessions with me until we have cast out his confusion. This is a test of my faith, and I will not fail him or Jacob. Flyer. Nobody is born gay. Reparative therapy works. Guaranteed testimonials. Trained counselor standing by. Contact us and let us pray. Uh, Jesus. Jacob note to another boy. Hi, Bruce. Meet me in the parking lot at 11 p.m. Be careful. Can't wait to see you again. XO. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why did Daniel tell her so much? Daniel Felipe Diaz. Do, what happened to Daniel in Seattle? Does anybody else know what he could do? Search for any living relatives. Daniel personality traits. Missing mother. Likes to be creative and build things. Trains his gift regularly. Doesn't remember any everything or doesn't want to. Pouts too much. Spoiled. Mrs. Old Friends, Noah, Lila, likes to watch my sermons, mumbles in his sleep, loves chocolate crisps. Today, Daniel told me about his layover in Beaver Creek, Oregon. He was hiding out at his grandparents and made friends with another boy like him, Chris or Chris. Of course, he wanted to stay. The police showed up, but Daniel wasn't clear about what happened next. I know he's holding back, but the Holy Spirit will free him of his sin from his sins of omission. I knew this guy was sketchy, but... <clears throat> Whoa... Oh, brother. John Nicholas Bowen, uh, incarcerated in Salt Lake City, still has contacts among white gangs, strong faith but never read the Bible, former meth addict, sensitive topic, inclined to pride, newspaper clip. Three teenagers robbed liquor store, owner shot dead on the night of September 20th. A group of masked young men broke into Sally's liquor store, South Salt Lake. Under the influence of alcohol and drugs, they beat the clerk and stole the cash register. When caught by the store owner on their way out, the oldest man pulled a gun and... Letter. Dear Elizabeth, I found your address in my jacket this morning and remember how I ended in this motel room last night with a meal in my stomach and a warm light in my chest. I can't thank you enough for what you did. Your kind and patient words helped me pull, pulled me out of a downward spiral I've been falling in for weeks. If I remember correctly, you said you were looking for hands to help you build a blank. Ugh. <coughs> Wait, hold on. No. Can I close it back? I can't believe this type of shit still happened. Okay. It's time to go, Jacob.
Karen, everything all right? Yeah, don't worry about me. I found the best hiding spot. The view is kind of great. Cool. Be careful, though. You never know. Thanks, Sean. I will. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Lizbeth sure likes to be on pictures. All right. Look at that. <laughs> Your mom is hardcore, Sean. Yeah, I guess she is. She set a building on fire. So we're all good now? I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Then let's meet up at the car, okay? Okay. All right. You be careful, okay? You too, Sean. Good luck. <laughs> all right. Come in, Karen. See anything? No, you're all clear. Awesome. Talk later. <sighs> Locked, of course. All right. So you know what you're gonna do? Whoa. No. <clears throat> but let's do it. Oh Lord. Let your power speak through this young vessel. I am your uh, humble Sean. servant and will obey what the hell your is this? every command. Speak to me. It's Daniel. Speak. I told you he's kind of special. Hey. Sean! You came back? And I know. Little cub, come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. I'm sorry, Sean. I can't. She's full of shit, dude. And she's using you. Daniel has made his choice, Sean. But I'm offering you to join us again. Put your faith in me, and you'll be family. Never. So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary. Not without Daniel. Right now. Not without my brother. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. No. Daniel, listen. She's not your family. Sean, who is she? Our mother. Uh. She came here for you. Oh, praise the Lord. Another miracle at our church. Wonderful. Uh, it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. I... Uh, I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is hard for you, my son. Stop calling him that. You're just manipulating him, you sicko. <laughs> That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, let me ask you, how could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Where were you when Daniel was lost? Where? Listen, Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from him. You were blessed with a divine gift. And you cast him out into the world. Who the hell are you? You might have been his mother once, but when you abandoned him, 
You also gave up your rights. Isn't your god all about forgiveness? You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend to care about these two children? You left them and your husband to seek out your base desires. Daniel, honey, she's trying to trick you. Please, think by yourself. You're smarter than this. Daniel, she's responsible for what happened to your father. You don't know anything. No. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know that's not enough, but I hope we can talk about this together. That's what I've been trying to tell your brother, and I'm so glad he listened. You gotta trust us. She's using you for her selfish desires. Daniel, this time the choice is yours. Are you going to believe her or me? I... Uh, I... That's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, his true family. And we'll never leave him. Go to hell. Come on, Daniel. No! Oh! Holy shit. Reverend, are you okay? Nicholas, they're, they're heretics sent to desecrate our, our church. Okay, what now? Don't you understand? This is over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. I won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Your brother chose his path. Your friend, Sarah Lee, she's very sick. <laughs> and Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She won't do this that. This is pointless. Daniel knows who to trust. Don't listen to her religious bullshit. You need to have faith in yourself, not in her. But you said heaven and God existed. Why are you lying? You are right. He's wicked, unfaithful. She was kicked out of her previous church. Yeah, they knew she was crazy. So she left and founded Haven Point. Why would they do that? Okay, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I picked the wrong thing. I, I didn't mean to pick that. I meant to pick she was, uh, she went to the doctor. <sighs> but now it's gotta, I wonder how far back it's gotta reload. Oh god. So you know what you're gonna so do? So far. No. It's so far back. Let's do it. I'll skip ahead. I'm so sorry. What now? Don't you understand? This is over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. I won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Your brother chose his path. Your friend, Sarah Lee, she's very sick. And Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She wouldn't do this that. This is pointless. Daniel knows who to trust. I know. She went to see doctors for herself when she was in pain. She never waited for a miracle when she was in danger. What? Is that... Is that true? Reverend Mother? Have faith in me, Daniel. I know what I'm doing. God is speaking to me and to you. She was kicked out of her previous church. Yeah, they knew she was crazy. So she left and founded Haven Point. Why would they do that? Did she do something wrong? Liar, I left on my own because they were all blind. 
Don't believe his lies, Daniel. What do you think Dad would say if he saw us right now? He wanted us to stick together. I don't know. I want you to stay. But I'm not ready, Sean. Uh. See what you have done? Hey, Inano. Uh, back off. No one is going to keep me away from you. I said stop! <sighs> I came all this way for you, and nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need- uh, Sean! He must learn. <sighs> Listen, <clears throat> I did my best job to be a good brother. And I know I probably failed. I took you for granted. I put you in danger. And I'm sorry. Sean! Don't listen to him. He, he left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Don't hit him! Don't let them do that, Daniel. Get up. Get up. If I could go back in time, I would. We'd be in our living room in Seattle. That would get us pizza and snacks, then pick the movie, because we would always fight about it. And he always picked your movie. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anu. Stop so it! we have to keep going no. forward. What are you You're gonna doing? kill him! Please! He's my brother! You can burn down our church, but not our faith. Daniel knows you're telling the truth. Don't give up. Never. Fight for that little boy if it kills me. Nothing, nothing is gonna stop me, Daniel. We're brothers. I know. Dad always said our blood link was the most important thing. You know that. Uh, please! Uh, stop! Uh, Leave him alone! Daniel! Listen to him! I won't stop! No matter what she does! I'll come right back! Again! And again! <laughs> I love you, Daniel. I do too. Shut him up! Now! Don't move! Just stop! If you want to kill me, then do it! I'm not afraid! Do it! Shoot! Don't! Go ahead! What? Shoot me in the face! And live with me! Now! Stop! <gasps> to get out of here. Now. Oh no. No. You started this fire. Oh hell you will no. Burn in this hell. Move. Let us go. Move it! You won't leave this place. Not with me alive. Bullshit. Open the door, Inan. Daniel. 
After all I did for you, you can still repent. I don't believe you anymore! Ugh. Let's see. Um, you passed both vision tests. Nope, I passed one of the vision tests. I told Agent Flores that Robbie was Finn's idea. I convinced Joey to help me escape. Uh, that's good. Uh, I wish I could have escaped without hurting anyone. That would have been cool, but I couldn't figure out how to open the window. See, I didn't talk to Finn. I was. Uh, I didn't try to take the toy back, and so it didn't break. I uh, refused to sing and got beat up. Yeah. Got into Anton's truck. <laughs> I don't know anybody who wouldn't. Went ahead and gave money. Uh, let's see. Overall, you try to let Karen open up to you. You smoked with Karen. You accepted Karen's help to clean. Uh, Nicholas was unaware of my presence. That's awesome. You shared your money with Jacob. And you managed to hide from Nicholas. Oh, and you and Daniel both spared Elizabeth alive. Uh, okay. Cool. And this is it. We made it, Daniel. What do we do now? Make our way across. You ready? Yeah. I think. Uh, 
<sighs> Alright, well, that was the end of episode 4 of Life is Strange 2, and we'll probably play the fifth one as soon as I have a chance. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Whatever Decide to Make, Clear Net Setting Out. Bye!